I remember back when you could get um, three packs of like 60 watt bulbs at Dollar Tree for a dollar. Yep, me too. No, uh, you can't. Those actually weren't too bad either. I had a couple of 60 watt. Um, <clears throat> they weren't very bright, but they lasted a stupidly long time for what they were. Hmm. So these are 600 lumens. What does that claim to be? 450. Okay, so this this is a 43 watt. This is probably a 60 watt equivalent. Right, right. This is a 40 watt equivalent. I have a box of 40s in here. Get there. Oh, perfect. Super. Super halogen, as opposed to a regular halogen. The LED, the LED, the GE halogens were not very good. That's what I've been using in the Santa Claus out front for the last couple of years, and the bulb lasts one season. Everybody keeps saying that Sylvania is no good as well, but I haven't really had any problems with Sylvania. That's not bad. I think the LED one's a little bit harsher, but I don't see a lot of flicker at all. Let's see if there's any banding on the camera. Wow. No, uh, just slightly, a little, little bit. Not bad though, compared to what a lot of them are. It will be interesting to put a lampshade over this and see if you can figure out which one's which. It's not bad. I can't see much flicker at all. Supposedly, and I don't know if you have a means of testing this, you probably would have to do this upstairs. If you hook this up to a dimmer, apparently the color temperature change. You had the same idea as me. <laughs> I have one that supposedly does that, and it works, and it's very cool. Well, let's see if this is any good. I don't know how good it's going to be. I mean, it's kind of gimmicky, but... Yeah, it totally changes the wow. color temperature. It's a pretty close match, too. It doesn't dim quite as nicely as an incandescent in the sense that it's not zero to 100%, mm -hmm. but it doesn't just jump up to like 25%, right. you know, from zero. It's going down pretty low, though. Out of curiosity, just because it's kind of hard to see with this. All right. I mean, you can kind of start to see something's amiss when you get down really low. You can see the lines in there. Yeah. It looks like there's two different colors of them, even. Yeah, that's probably how they what the magic is. But if that was behind a lampshade, you probably wouldn't know. No, I don't think so. I definitely find it harsher than the incandescent. I can look at that incandescent no problem, but the LED is, is uncomfortable to me. Yeah, it does have a, a, a change right there. Whereas the incandescent is much more smooth. That's not bad, though. I definitely one of the better ones I've seen. Is that something you'd be able to live with? I could probably tell right that if it was behind a lampshade. Yeah, if you aren't looking right at it. Because I, I don't see any flicker in here at all. Even though there was that small band on the camera, I don't really see it. Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, what, what, these are Phillips bulbs? Yeah, I'll go get the box. <clears throat> and they're glass too, which is pretty cool. Made in... China.
Phillips Ultra Definition. Bring the sunlight indoors. Or just open the window. What is it, 5K? No, no, this is 2700. No, I mean the resolution. Because it's got a, it's, it's high definition, so what? Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm a little slow. <laughs> no, these are probably at least 8K. Oh, okay. Color rendering index of 95. That's pretty impressive. That's like incandescent yeah. territory. What in the world? Oh, it's duh, it's an LED. <laughs> like, why is the power still seven watts? <laughs> yeah, so you don't get a whole lot of advantage out of dimming it, but I mean, it's not drawing much power to begin with. This also may be a little bit different than a real dimmer. That's the other thing to that kind of keep true. in mind. I don't know how this is chopping up the waveform, but clearly it's dimmable regardless of what it it's connected is, to. Yeah. Yeah, wow, the power factor is garbage. Point eight is not the greatest. That's very surprising yeah. to me. It doesn't yeah. have an active power factor correction device in there. And I mean, there's only so much room to put something like that. Yeah, I suppose. Huh. That's very interesting. Hmm. It's not a bad bulb. I put this in my ceiling fan next to the Cree bulbs that I bought about four or five years ago, and I'd say that this is a little bit better. Mm. Well, Cree is gone, right? They don't I don't. Anymore. I can't seem to find uh, good Cree bulbs anymore unless mm. they're new old stock, which yeah. is a shame. If I knew that, I would have bought a ton of them from Home Depot mm. a couple of years ago before they sold them. Sold the last of them, I should say. Yeah. Hmm. How much did these cost? Uh, I think they were not expensive. I think that this four-pack was like twelve dollars or something are they still 13.7 years but probably only based on three hours a day mm -hmm. yeah based on three hours a day usage which this time of year is nowhere near what right. you're going to use it at you might use it that much in the summer but i'm not sure that these are even still manufactured if you go to phillips website it's really confusing hmm. Well, they're not bad. If I had to use one, this, this could be a, a potential option. Even with these lights on, though, it's not, not bothering me as much. Probably with a lampshade, it would be perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. hmm. Interesting. That's, that's glass. Yeah, it looks pretty nice, too. A little bit of heat, though. Probably near the base. Yeah, because that's where the electronics and stuff are. Mm. Some of the cheap ones get extremely hot in the base, oh, yeah, like as hot as an incandescent. Yep. <laughs> Not good. No, how long is it going to last if there's no good thermal management in there? Mm. It's Not long. Yeah, I'd say that... This is probably not as warm as the Kree's that I have. The Kree's mm. throw off a little bit of heat, too. This has only been out for a few minutes, so... I mean, it's still... What is this? Uh, how many watts? Seven watts? I mean, seven watts is a, a fair bit of heat. Yeah. Yeah, six watts. I mean, if it's if it's not getting rid of all that in the glass, like incandescence, and it's getting rid of it out of something that's the size of a match head, that's a lot of power. So. That is, yeah. A lot of heat in a very small area, to clarify that a little bit. Yep. Yeah, it's not a bad bulb. Should be interesting to see how it holds up. Will it last a year? Will it last five years? I don't know. I know those crees lasted a good long time and they're still going. Hmm. And that's in a ceiling fan. That's kind of a rough environment for a bulb. Hmm. Well, these are probably fairly vibration resistant. I would imagine so. Five year warranty, so it's got to be. I at least have some confidence in it. Mm hmm. You getting hungry? A little bit, yeah. <laughs>